experience this one weekly happens every single fucking time my wife makes a bed and tucks the fucking sheets into the bottom <laughs> of the bed as soon as i get in there i first thing i do is thrash about and get the fucking legs free it drives me nuts <laughs> uh so but it wasn't just that that something was trying to pull these the, the bed clothes off the bed it was that surely once they got it like they realized that she was floating about six inches above the bed like rigid as a board like not moving back arched right and so this is what this is what everybody says like this is 100 percent proof that she was she was floating in the air is what they said and that they had to like pull her they had to pull her like completely vertical in order to to get it to stop like to to for, for before the, the the entire phenomenon ceased i would have jumped on her from the top ropes, <laughs> knocked her back down. Oh, oh leg drop from the top rope. My God, she has a family. Yeah, huge <laughs> leg drop, knock yeah. her back to right out of the reality. air. Uh, so now you have this. My God, my God. <laughs> so, so the idea of the Battersea poltergeist, the news of this, is now starting to get out to a bunch of different news outlets and whatever. And so now, uh, more often than not, the the hitchings were having random people like show up to their house, and either either they're reporters who want to write about what is going on, or they want to interview Shirley, or they want to you know see the poltergeist, or well, it that's, would be th mediums that's what offering do, their right? services as well. I I would be like honestly, if this if this if all of a sudden in the Campbell River Mirror. There was an article that there was someone experienced poltergeist activity. I would be at their house tomorrow. I'd be like, can I see it? <laughs> Please. Um, so one one newspaper, the Southwestern Star, sent their reporter by the name of Ross Wurge. Uh, and when Wurge got there on, this is the 20th of February. The timelines are a little weird here. But like on the 20th of February when he got there, he interviewed Shirley and his parents. And he also talked to their grandmother. And Ethel at this point, uh, she's very... <laughs> She's very clear on what she thinks of the entire phenomenon because Ethel at this point comments she, she thought it was a lot of rot. That's what she said. Those are her words. Um, she didn't rot? believe that what was yeah. She yeah. didn't think that any of this was bullshit. real. She didn't. She thought it was yeah. bullshit. She's like, I don't, I don't know she what's going on, but it's not ghosts. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Uh, but but uh, Shirley was able to demonstrate to Verge like the the tapping that was going on, and she did it by uh, the, the method that she used was she took her foot and she put it on like the on the the seat of a, a wooden chair, and then had you know had Word words like put his hand on there, and then he could feel the tapping, and then she kind of moved her foot like to the edge of this uh, edge of the seat, and like it would kind of move the thing and he could still feel it um and the thing is is like at this point like when you when you hear that kind of thing like she was doing like doing this stuff for reporters to me i'm like all right like in my head i was like if this was a hoax i don't to be honest and I, this is just i don't know if this is thinking me too highly of myself but I'm just saying right Probably. now, there Probably is no is. fucking way I walk into a house and a 15 year old is gonna like dupe me into believing. Like if she's pull, if she's trying to hoodwink me, I just don't believe that she's going to be able to pull a fast one on me. Where I'm just like, oh, she got me. This is a polter. <laughs> wow, what's going on? Like, and then later be like, oh, she had, she got me. Like, I just think that you would be genuinely astounded. Or you would be like, this 15-year-old is full of shit. Like, she's 15. Uh, so at some point, uh, they got the idea, finally, to try and communicate with this entity. We, right now, we'll call it Spooky Willie. Um, uh, and so between Shirley and Wurge, uh, they, they agreed to use a kind of code in order to try and communicate it. They kind of they pretty much told the ghost, like, one tap for no, two taps for yes, and three for don't know. And then it's kind of cool. It's like the it's kind of like the way they communicated with that, like with Will on Stranger Things, right? Right. With the yeah, Christmas lights. that's right. Like, yeah, fuck, I didn't think about that. 
so Wurge took the opportunity once they had nailed down this 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 code uh, for communication. They they questioned uh, Spooky Willie for something like three hours about trying to figure it out, and he asked it like a bunch of series of questions as you would, um, trying to to nail down the identity of this ghost. And so what they what they seemed to get was that they came to the conclusion that this this was the spirit of Shirley's great grandmother Ethel's mother, uh, uh, who had died forty years previously. Although a little bit later, the ghost would go ahead and claim it was a boy named Donald who had played with Shirley when they were children. Yeah, so I heard kinda... something, something completely different from that. I heard that they gave him the nickname Donald because they kept hearing <laughs> from the fucking walls. But no, seriously, like I, I heard that they named him Donald because they like they yeah, I think Kitty saw him throwing tantrums right. or kiddies like they I think Kitty did, you know, yeah. yeah. Because, no, I mean, the yeah, they had a TV in the house and stuff like that, so they knew about Donald Duck, so there's a lot of stuff that, yeah. So, other, I, Donald Duck is one of the reasons like about why they named it. They were like, yeah, that's Donald. Peak like, Donald sure. Duck. <laughs> well, and, like, honestly, you have no, yes, and don't know. And the fact that they're like, after some hours, we realized that it was the spirit of Shirley's great-grandmother uh, who had died 40 years previously, and uh, later it was a boy named Donald. I'm like... How fucking long did that take with the simple answers <laughs> I mean, of yes, no, and maybe? Well, I'm you'd be like, you know, questions, you go, I'm sure. Yeah, you go like, uh, like it's like, are you a boy or a girl? Tap, you know, whatever. It's like, no, you, you can't, you can't say that. Oh, sorry, that. sorry. You, are you a boy? Know. Tap. Hey, don't gender Are you a girl? Tap, hey, tap. don't gender like, them, Dan. We don't know. Yeah. Don't know. No, that's why I'm saying you ask them. And that's then the it's question. Like, <laughs> and then you have to go like, uh, does your name start with A? Tap, tap. Does your are name you, start are you with a relative? B? Are you tap, related tap. to Shirley? Like, yeah, does your name would... start with C? Tap tap. Does your knee name start with D? Tap. All right, we got a D. Does yeah. the second letter uh, is it an A? Tap tap. Is sounds it a like B? Fuck. Sounds tap, like you're playing tap. battleship here. So <laughs> yes. It, uh, <laughs> The the early days of communicating with <laughs> what would later become Donald is the name that they would eventually uh, use for most of the time. When for did now. Hasbro come out with the Ouija board? I mean, they really revolutionized talking with poltergeists, right? Because like this, well, we'll this method that. is fucking painful. Yeah, it was laborious. Like it was really it was difficult to kind of do this, but they got it got better. Um, so <laughs> got better at talking to ghosts which is good. now on the 21st of february of that year the family actually actually kept, began to keep an actual journal of the strange events that happened that hadn't occurred to them until now to, to do that but um but this was also uh the day that shirley was due to appear on national television uh to be interviewed for the bbc <laughs> it's just so, so it's just it's so wild to me that it's like i mean this this day and age never never in a million years if you you could be getting scratched daily and be like look at this scratch it's just and just watch live tv as a scratch appeared you would never make it on national like I, live news yeah but not that long ago you would have though you could have been on ricky lake in a heartbeat with that oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, shit. Been everywhere oh yeah you would 100 percent been on yeah, you could have been on sightings when that was still going that, yeah. that was a good show um so so for this for this interview um like prior to this like communication like we said before was was really difficult but the 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 methods that they used began to evolve so wally was but wally was staunchly against you know the the time tested uh time tested method of the ouija board he did not want to use the ouija board he was very very adamant that they weren't going to use that cursed object or whatever they want to call it um but he was okay of the method of to use a sheet of paper of which the alphabet would be written out and then have a person pointing to each letter to get a response what's from the Donald. difference i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it just sounds like a ouija board with extra steps <laughs> like, you just made you're just making your own ouija board you already have one made for you yeah you're like it's hey listen like, listen i want hasbro to have none of the profits here I, yeah that's maybe fair. that's yeah that's what he was against um <laughs> But it's like, yeah, I mean, you have somebody moving their finger over and waiting for him to tap for the letter. And it's like, that just seems like, yeah, and it's like, it's still, you're still interacting with the ghost. I don't know why the Ouija board would be any different. I don't know. I'm not sure, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, but even after that one, they came up with an even more elaborate method, but maybe a little bit more efficient. He, he was just, he was just using the lesser known Wally board. It never took <laughs> off. Um <laughs> what they what they ended up doing was they would take uh they would take a bunch of cars each with like a a letter 
on them and they would lay them out in a, in a giant circle on a table. And then in the middle of that circle, they would also have cards with answers uh, to like common answers to questions. Yes, no, maybe it's a Ouija board. Like it's a Ouija, it's a big circle Ouija board. <laughs> and so, but then they board. would move their hands around the circle and then wait for Donald to tap or make some type of, you know, acknowledgement. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.